So I'm going to tell you about my $150,000 experiment. Okay. About 15 years ago, I was in practice trying to get people to eat healthier and trying to get them off junk food and eat, you know, healthier food. And I know it's hard to believe, but some people have a hard time changing their ways. I know this is shocking, but the system that I was using in my practice, which I was taught at school, was basically this. You come in with these symptoms, I match the symptom with a nutritional remedy, and I send you home, and hopefully it works, right? But at least it's better than medication. But here's the thing, the results weren't consistent. They were hit or miss. Some people would get better, some people wouldn't. I didn't know why. And here's the big problem. When you test for vitamins and minerals, they're not going to show up in the body because a lot of these nutrients are deep in the tissues. They're not in the blood. So by the time they show in the blood, you are very, very deficient. So using blood work to test nutritional deficiencies was a waste of time. So I had this crazy idea. I was going to build some software to instead of looking at the blood, I would look at the diet to find out what nutrients were missing. So that way we can evaluate them from the front end, the food that they're eating, and not wait until they have some deficiency down the road. This was 15 years ago. Uh, they didn't have programmers like they have now. They, don't, they didn't have apps back then. So it was very, very expensive. I mean, every week it was another 5,000, 5,000. This went on and on and on uh, for probably close to a year and a half before my wife, I don't know if you know Karen, said, that's it. We're done with this project. Okay, we have to finalize this thing. So this software basically analyzed your food and compared the nutrients in the food to what you should be doing, the RDAs for those specific nutrients. And you can quickly see what you're deficient in. So that was the crazy idea. But then there was a big bug. Um, most people kept showing deficient in this one nutrient over and over and over. And it was potassium. Okay. So I, I went back to the programmers and I said, you know, you have to fix this because everyone is deficient in potassium. So he goes, no, that's not a bug. I says, what do you mean? He says, take a look at it. The RDAs are 4,700 milligrams. And I go, what? The RDAs are 4,700 milligrams for potassium. That's 10 times the amounts for any other minerals. That's just what it came out to be. So to make a long story short, I had this huge awareness on this really um, commonly missed nutrient potassium in so many people and the importance of potassium, not just for heart problems in the pacemaker of the heart, but for blood sugars. Every cell has a potassium pump. You need potassium for your energy. You need potassium for your muscles to prevent cramps. You need potassium for the nervous system. It has many, many functions. It's involved in hundreds of enzymes in the body and chemical reactions. So I also noticed that when I told people to consume foods higher in potassium, they did a lot better. But the problem is you would need over 15 bananas to get your daily amount of potassium. And that has a lot of sugar. Avocados are loaded with potassium, but you would still need five a day. But if you were to consume seven to 10 cups of vegetables, you would get really close to your RDAs for potassium on a given day. And then I run into two types of people, people that don't like vegetables, people that have a hard time consuming seven to 10 cups consistently each day. And that's why I created uh, my electrolyte powder. So the electrolyte powder has a thousand milligrams of potassium. Now it's interesting if you try to buy a potassium supplement, it only comes in 99 milligrams. It's weird. I don't know why it doesn't come in higher amounts. So I put mine in a powder and I made it taste really good. I put the other electrolytes in it. I made sure it didn't have any maltodextrin. I made it slightly sweet with the stevia with no aftertaste. I also added trace minerals. Okay. And all you do is you take one to two scoops a day, mix it with water. It dissolves unless you add really cold water. There might be some small particles in the bottom. It's not a problem. Um, I didn't want to put the chemicals in there to make it dissolve like 100%. So we avoided those chemicals. So sometimes it does leave a small amount of residue in the bottom, but those minerals can be, um, you can drink them. It's not a problem. But what most people notice when they take this is a sudden rush of energy. Um, they feel more awake. It's not just for exercise. Uh, I didn't put a lot of salt in it. It has a tiny bit of sodium. Um, so it's not necessarily, if you're sweating and you're losing all the electrolytes, it's not necessarily for that, even though it'll help that, 
It's mainly for the average person that just needs more minerals and trace minerals. So if you've never tried this before, I want you to check it out. I'm going to give you a coupon code for 10% off. And also as a side note, all my products have a 30 day money back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, you can return it for a full refund. So click the link below, check it out. I think you're going to really love it. Especially if you're one of the ones that just can't seem to keep in the large quantity of vegetables. All right, guys, thanks for watching.